Hello if you are new here and welcome back if you've been to the channel before. My name is Haley, or as my username states, Phobus. Um, and we are today going to do the Not So Berry Challenge House. So this one is going to be in um, Newcrest and it's gonna be a starter house. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like a small series of all 10 versions and it's going to be um, all starter houses for the the berry challenge and they are all going to be um, within Newcrest so it's almost like just a Newcrest rebuild uh, we'll have a few leftover lots maybe we'll do something if this kind of goes along with it if we don't then we don't it's not a big deal um, but just to give you an idea um, the not so berry challenge for the first generation generation one is mint um, and just to explain off of directly from Little Simsy's exp explanation page, um, you're a mischievous scientist that really loves the color mint. You're career driven, but still make time for silly pranks and outings with your closest of friends. You love luxury and want the best for yourself and your family. You have the traits of vegetarian, jealous, and materialistic. Our aspiration is chief of mischief and our career is scientist. We have a few small rules. You have to master the scientist career and complete the, the chief of mischief aspiration. Um, you have to master the mischief and logic skills. And you also have to complete the elements collection, which I feel like that one's gonna be the hard one. Um, as you can see, I left in all of my planning. We are doing a tiny house for this one. I would like to keep all of them tiny houses. It makes it easier for them being starters. Plus for those skills, you'll be able to raise those skills faster. It took me a minute to figure out the color mint that I wanted to do. There's a few different shades and I kept going, is it more blue, is it more green? For this one, we went more of a greeny mint and instead of doing what most people do and choose like their mint in a white color, we're doing a mint in a black color for accent. Um, but as you can see, it has taken me a minute to decide the color palette and what I wanted to use because there's such limited choices for this color. Um, there's a few decent ones, but then when you try to pair them with a flooring that is mint as well, trying to make a semi-monochrome house, it becomes very difficult. <laughs> I started with choosing the season's windows and then I went back on it. I decided not to. We do somewhat of a little bit more modern theme when it comes to the windows. Um, I did leave the base shingles on there. I think it looked okay. Um, you can always, that's one really quick and easy change you can make yourself, but I went ahead and kept it. I did put roof trims on, so they are black roof trims. It makes it stand a little bit more customized, but I did like that grayish tone that the roof already had. I could have made it a green roof, but I felt like that was going to be a little bit too much. <laughs> okay, and we are finally going and finding the snowy escape windows, and I absolutely love these. They're cheap. They're only like 25 simoleons. They're wonderful, and they're not quite as tall as like the ones that I just placed from Island Living which I enjoy because it gives you time, or not time, it gives you space to put things underneath the windows without it feeling like you're just gonna cover up all the, the light anyways. Um, here we are choosing the kitchen layout. I do shrink the bedroom by one uh, grid block because I didn't like how the living room was turning out and we'll do that later on. Um, cabinets were fun so I just had to just wing it and use everything else to make it more minty inspired color so we are going to keep with the color palette I have chosen most of the things in here are staying but they might just move around a little bit I do put a trash can later on and then I end up taking it out and putting an outdoor trash can instead I know that the trash can is like the number one thing a lot of people forget in the kitchens. I was going to put a couch, but then I remembered that this sim is materialistic. And I went ahead and went with the Maximus, or Ma what is it called? Something to the decor to the Max kit chairs. Because they were so out there and they seemed very... 
I don't. Uh, it seemed like something a materialistic sim would have to me. Very bold. Um, and you're already doing these mint colors, so it kind of teamed together, right? We also used the. I'm pretty sure that's the new fireplace as well. Um, I did put this pompous grass down. I take it away. We need the simoleons, unfortunately. Um, with this being a starter house, I didn't want to use up the whole budget, but you are down to a few hundred simoleons. So you could take things out that you don't need and replace them with other things. I do replace the avocado rug with, um, I can't remember what it is, but it's one of the debug free rugs. And then we... This bedroom essentially doesn't change. We put the bed in, we put the um, dresser in, and then we put the jungle adventure mirror in, and that's kind of how it stays, other than putting a rug and a scientist like galaxy picture above the bed. Um, that doesn't match very, well, it kind of matches, but it more so matches the Sims personality of being a scientist than it does the room itself. So it fits, but it doesn't fit all at the same time. <laughs> Um, here we are trying to scrounge for simoleons and making things work. I do use a little bit of debug. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Landscaping. I do use a little bit of debug landscaping just so we could have a little bit of stuff on the front. I also use the debug um, stone pavers from the sidewalk to the front door. There is a little bit of dead space with the hallway um but it was just something that i really wanted to put in there feel free to put one of those long thin tables at the very end and decorate that or um any of the scientist stuff that you're gonna get maybe your elements table could go in that little bitty entryway i mean that's what i would do and i i tried to find it and it wasn't more so about the finding it it was more so about the simoleons that we had left over and you can with this challenge do a free real estate for the first sim but i didn't want it to feel like you had to use cheats and not everybody knows how to use those cheats um and i can go over i can make a video on all the different cheats there are i did use move objects i did use the show show live edit objects and the show hidden objects sheet. Those three are the ones that I use to be able to get these debug landscapes. I know they don't look good now. I accidentally put this in spring and I don't have the MC command center to be able to change what um, season this the sim is in, but I'll kind of play around in this area and get it to where we actually have, um, you know, nice landscaping. <laughs> you can actually see the flowers and stuff. But this is me going through debug. I cut probably about 20 minutes of me scrolling through debug. It was quite the hassle to try to find all the scientist objects. And I wanted this sim to have some of their science stuff at home since they are so work based, it feels like. Um, but here I am scrunching for that trash can and I go, mm, we're gonna change it. <laughs> So the bathroom stays really plain, it's just a toilet and the stand-up shower. You've got the sink in the bath or bathroom, in the kitchen. You can always update it as you play, um, edit it to how your game style is going to be. But this is what I decided that if I was going to play, this is how I would play it. Um, the one thing that I did forget is something with logic. So um, what I might do is end up putting a library in this world so that way you don't have to change to a whole different world. You're still within the same area. You might just have to drive, quote unquote drive. Um, <laughs> Sims don't drive, remember? Um, but you might have to go to a different section of the same world just so it makes it a little bit easier. Not, not a whole bunch, but less button clicking. Um, and we are starting to get towards the end of this video. I hope you enjoy this little not so berry house. And here I am changing out that rug. Y'all guys have a wonderful whatever rest of the day it is.